Within the Teal Resume Builder, you can make cover letters. And cover letters really are about a kind of purposeful pitch relative to a job. So the cover letters sit within the Resume Builder. Let me show you how to get to them. So here we are on a new resume that has not been matched to a job yet. To go into detail on how to match, um, you can watch the matching mode videos, the job matching, but we're gonna come over to cover letters. And it's gonna tell you, you need a job matched to be able to do that. So we're gonna pick one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the social media director at Cardone Ventures here and get started. And so now my job is attached to this resume. You can see if I go over to job matching mode, right, that same job is attached. So you only have to do it once. If you had already done it for matching mode, it'll be attached here. And for free, you get two cover letters uh, generated with AI. So we're gonna go ahead and write with AI. And that's gonna bring up a, a pop-up that's gonna give you some options before the AI generates a cover letter for you. So we'll keep it at medium length. Then you have, you can just accept, accept the defaults. Those are kind of what we recommend, but if you wanna come in and modify it, so tone, like formality, you can keep it casual, formal. formal. I say to try to match the JD. So it's kind of inferring it from the tone of the JD. And then if there's particular parts of the job description that you want to address, you can come in and check those. And if you want to modify it with a custom prompt, you could do that. But I'm just gonna accept all of the defaults and hit apply. And what it's doing is it's taking the active parts of your resume and the job description, and it's crafting a cover letter. And then as far as the styles and visual, it's inheriting them from your resume. It's essentially using the same style as your resume so they look consistent. And so here you go. You've got, uh, we'll go ahead and close this because I'll show you how that works in a minute. Uh, and it's drafted that cover letter. And, you know, here's the content. If I wanted to change it, just so you can see, that is text that's in there. So you edit it over on the left and stylistically you have it on the right. And so it's gonna inherit exactly the same as your cover letter, as, or as your resume. So if we come over to the preview of my resume and we go to our contact info and say, you know what, I don't want my website, I don't need my address on there, uh, and I don't need my phone number. Now when we go back to our cover letter, you can see that it's using the same exact styles. And uh, to take that even a little further, say we don't want uh, color as our accent color, you go back to your cover letter and it's there. So it matches and that's the idea so that you don't have to maintain two different stylistic approaches. If you do wanna take it to like Word or Google Docs, you can just copy the text. Obviously you can highlight it, Control C, Control V, but we just have a quick little shortcut to copy the text to make it easy. Uh, and then to export out this cover letter, you just do export PDF and you can do cover letter. If you wanted to pair your cover letter and resume into a single PDF, you could do that. That's honestly, obviously, uh, oftentimes not requested. Most job applications want them individually as separate form fields. But if you ever did want to compile it to send to somebody, you could do that right there with one click, saves you a click. But you just do export cover letter and uh, you would name it appropriately, save it, and then let me go ahead and open it. And then you, there you go. You know, fully highlightable, parsable cover letter. It inherits the margins, the styles, the text, all that as exactly the same as your resume. And that's it. That's how you generate a cover letter. If you upgrade to Teal Plus, you can do unlimited cover letters. You could very quickly tailor them and do bespoke cover letters per job you apply to. If you improve with AI, you can change these settings. You can change the tone. You can put in custom prompts. Um, but it should make it quick and easy to make cover letters. As always, if you have feedback using this functionality, please let us know.